Good afternoon, Senior Center members and friends. Thank you for tuning in on this Thursday afternoon for another round of exercises. Today we are going to be doing part of our flex and stretch routine. So for those that have continued to join me on these Thursday afternoons for exercise routines, we do do a session called flex and stretch. Today, like I said, we'll be doing most of that, but not quite all of it. If you've joined before, we will be leaving out the scarf section or portion of the routine, but we'll be sticking with most of the other stuff today. So for today's routine, you simply need weights, about equal weights, and an armless chair. You do want to make sure it's an armless chair. If you don't have an armless chair today, that's okay. You can try your best. It just might limit your um, mobility and motion here a little bit today. My name is Desiree Myers. I'm the Assistant Program Manager here at the Washington County Senior Center, and I'm so glad you decided to join. As always, this is an exercise routine for you. You know your body better than I do. So throughout the entirety of this routine, we'll be doing a little bit of stretching here and there. You might feel a little bit of pull. That's a good thing, but you don't want any pain. If you feel pain, you need to stop what you're doing immediately and take note of what you're doing. Maybe that means sitting that particular exercise or stretch out for today, or maybe that means sitting out this entire routine for today. Again, you know your body better than I do. I need you to listen to your body. I'm going to be doing 10 reps of each exercise today, for the most part, unless otherwise noted, we'll be doing about 10. If you want to do 15 because you've been joining in and you feel pretty comfortable and confident with doing more than 10, have at it. If you feel like you only want to do three of each, that's okay. Do what's best for you. Start small and work your way up. It's better to do that. We don't want to start large, injure ourselves and then have to fall back. So again, start with something that feels good for you, that's a little bit of a challenge, but isn't overbearing today. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. We wanna make sure that we have a good posture the entire time, and even breathing. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Let's try and go ahead and get grounded, centered in our chair. Nice deep breaths here, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Deep breaths. In and out. One more in. And out. We're going to work tip to toe today. Starting off with our neck. Doing chin to shoulder, keeping our chin nice and level, taking it over towards our right shoulder, coming back to center, and chin over to the left shoulder. One, right, center, left, two, and like I said, we'll be doing ten of most of the exercises today. Three, four, chin to shoulder, five, right, center, left, six, right, center, left. Seven, keep it going. Eight. Nine, one more. Always finding that center. Ten, ear to shoulder. Ear to shoulder, dropping the right ear down towards the right shoulder. Again, you might feel a little pull, but we don't want pain. Coming back up to center, left ear towards the left shoulder. One, right, center, and left. Two, right, center. 
center, left, three. You might find that you can take your ear just a little bit closer to your shoulder each time. Right, center, left, halfway there. Six. Again, you do want to feel just a little pull. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Right. Center. Left, that's 10. Working our shoulders. Like I said, tip to toe, shoulders. 10 shoulder rolls forward, 10 shoulder rolls back. We're shrugging up, push front and down. One, two, up, front and down. Three, four, five, Shrug up, push back and down. Two, make sure you're pushing back. Three, four, five, up, back and down. Six, seven. Nine and ten. Let's slide just to the edge of our chairs for five trunk turns. Again, sitting tall, engaging that core. We're going to put our hands on our hips, just twisting our upper body to the right, finding that center, and then twisting to the left. Here we go, just turning at the waist here, turning right, center, Left, one, right, center, left, two, right, center, left, three, four, one more. Right, center, and left, five. Good work, working our hands. Let's go ahead and open and close the hands. Again, nice little trick to get a thumb stretch in, tucking that thumb underneath all of the other fingers as you open and close the hands. Good, now wiggle the fingers. Hands open, walking the thumb across each finger. Taking the tip of the thumb and the tip of the pinky, touching each other so that you have nice ovals or circles. You're just going to walk each finger, touching or tapping the thumb. Pinky, ring, middle, index, back out, middle, ring, pinky. Try that a couple times, working your way in and out, keeping nice ovals or circles that whole time, just the tips are touching. Go nice and arch. Try one hand at a time if you'd like. And then go ahead and switch over to the other. Or test yourself, see how fast you can do it. Making sure you touch each finger. <laughs> Very good. Arm circles. Again, we're still sitting tall, engaging that core. Let's go ahead and send the right arm out to the side. Now, depending on range of motion, it might be better for you to do out in front. We're just gonna draw imaginary circles in one direction and then the other. I'm gonna go out to the side today. Again, I'm gonna start forward or you can do clockwise. 
Here we go for a count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reverse or counterclockwise. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking that right hand up behind your head. Kind of pushing that elbow back a little bit. We're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Left arm out to the side, or again, if you choose to do out in front today. Tiny circles in one direction. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left hand up to your head, elbow back. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Release. Ding, ding, ding. Boxing. Let's go ahead and enter the boxing ring. Feet planted on the ground. Two gentle fists out in front. Again, tucking that thumb in underneath all of the other fingers. Gentle fist here. We're going to go ahead and throw some punches. Starting with the right hand, taking it straight across your body so your arm is nice and straight. Coming back, left arm. One. Going for ten. Two. Three. Four. Put a little force into it if you'd like. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. It is now time to pick up our weights. So as long as you feel nice and grounded, you can go ahead and bend over. Grab a weight for each hand. We're going to start off with a tiny movement of wrist turns. Again, you want to weight a dumbbell in each hand. Elbows tucked at your side, palms facing down, wrist turns. Exactly as it sounds, we're just going to turn the weights over and back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one more, and ten. All right, arm curls or bicep curls. We're going to go ahead and start with our weights down beside us, arms parallel, palms are facing out. Here we go, arm curls, bending at the elbows, bringing the weights up to your shoulder, and lowering back down to that starting position all the way down. One, you don't have to do these super fast. You want to be in control the entire time. Two, three, again, if you want to do more than 10 or if you want to do less than 10, listen to yourself today. Four, five, Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Arm ups. Just like it sounds, we're going to start with our weights at shoulder height, keeping our arms parallel and taking them straight up. Extend it as high as we can and lowering back down to our shoulders. One, let's go up. Again, keeping control. Two, three, four, five, six. Arms are staying parallel. 
parallel. Seven. Very good. Eight. Check in with your breathing. Nine. One more. And ten. A little bit of cross country skiing here. We're going to let our arms hang out our sides. Palms are facing in towards our body. And if it feels better for you, you can lean into this one a little bit, making sure that your back stays straight though. Leaning in, we're swinging our arms at either side of us. Depends how high and how far back you swing, and also how fast. Just gonna pretend as if we're skiing here for a little bit, swinging the arms back and forth. Maybe you wanna speed up for a little bit. Really get that heart rate going. Making sure that you're keeping those arms straight. And stop. Finding that center, sitting tall. Deep breath or two. Still have a weight in each hand. This next one is a few steps, so you might want to say it out loud if you're just learning it. I know it took me a little bit. We're starting with the weights together. Right in front of our chest, we're going to push out, open the weights, arms go out to the side, bring the weights in together, and then back to your chest. That's one. So we're pushing out, Open, close, and in. Two. Out, open, close, and in. Three. Out, open, close, in. Four. Keep it going for ten. Five. Try to do to the other. The weight is in the left hand. Again, my arms just hanging at my side, bending or leaning at the waist. We're going to go lean to the left and center. Just so you feel a little pull in your right side. Two, three, four. Make sure that there's some 
where we're not going to trip over them. That they don't roll back out in front of you. Sitting tall, take a breath or two. your chair now. We're going to work our lower body in some seated exercises and then we will do some standing as well. Starting with the seating, seated exercises, kicking the right leg out in front, going to do ankle rolls or ankle circles, just drawing an imaginary circle with your foot in one direction for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lower the right leg down, lifting the left leg. Same thing, those ankle circles for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the left leg. Stepping on the gas pedal, lifting both legs up in the air. We're pointing the toes out and bringing them back in towards our body. Pushing out and in. Three, just as if we're stepping on the gas pedal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops, eleven. I'm going over the time here. <laughs> Lowering the legs back down. Toes together, heels together. Again, exactly as it sounds, we're going to lift both legs up in the air, bringing the toes together and then the heels together. Let's try 10 together. Lifting the legs up, toes together, heels together. Toes together, heels together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more, 10, lower down. Good, now scooching back up to the front of the chair. Gonna do a little bit of side stepping. Checking your posture, checking your breathing. Let's do some side stepping. Keeping the knee bent. We're just gonna take a step out and back in. It's up to you how wide of a step you take. Maybe you wanna gradually work your way into a bigger step. Again, keeping that knee bent. Let's try 10 with the right leg. Stepping out and back in. One, out together, out, together, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, left leg, here we go, out, and in, out, in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, if you're feeling up to it, we are going to transition over to our standing exercises. Let's try five sit-to-stands together. This can be done a couple different ways. We're sitting at the edge of our chair. Maybe you want to use some momentum to get yourself to stand up. Maybe you just want to have your hands out in front, at your side, or some people like to cross their arms across their chest. That's the method I prefer, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to do sit to stand, so you want to come to a standing position, check, make sure that chair is behind you, and sit down. Again, five of them. Let's do it. You can do maybe one of each if you want. <laughs> with swinging your arms, crossing your chest, keeping them at your side. It's up to you. Here we go. Standing up, nice and tall, coming all the way up. 
Again, making sure that chair is behind you before carefully sitting down. With control, we're not plopping down in our chairs. Gradually take a seat. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. All right, five sit to stands, very good. The standing exercises that we're gonna remain standing for then, if you wanna go ahead and stand up, and come behind your chair, being aware of your surroundings, knowing where your weights are, so you don't fall over them. You also wanna make sure that you have room both in front of, underneath the chair, and behind you. So making sure those weights are out of the way. Standing tall. We're gonna start off with marching in place. Doesn't have to be high, doesn't have to be fast. We're just lifting those feet up off the ground, holding onto the chair or hovering, just as a safety net there. Again, lifting those feet up off the ground. Trying to have a nice posture here. And stop. Side kicks. All of the weight on the right leg. The left leg is the only one moving. We want to take the left leg out to the side. Drop it back down. Out. And in. Two. Three. It's up to you how high you go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Weight is now on that left leg. The right leg is the only one moving. Same thing, just step swinging out to the right side and back in. Two, side kicks here. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Doing a little bit of a jig. All of the weight back on that right leg. Left leg is the only one moving. Again, check your surroundings. We want to take the left leg front on the heel. Tap it. Back on the toes. Tap. Front. Back. Heel. Toe three, it's up to you how big of a step you take. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Switching it up. Left leg, all of the weight, right leg moves. Here we go. Forward on the heel, back on the toe. Front. Back, heel, toe, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Finding that center, hands still on the back of the chair here. We're going to do calf raises. Half raises, coming up on your tiptoes, back down to flat foot. We are going to do ten. The first nine we will do normal, up on the tiptoe, down on flat foot. That last one, though, no. let's go ahead and try and go for a count of five. Those that have been joining in, I think we got up to about ten or twelve count that we were able to hold. <laughs> but it's been a little while since we've done this routine, so let's go ahead and try it five. If again, if you feel more comfortable it a little bit longer, go ahead. But the first nine, normal. Up on your tiptoes, back down to flat foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This 
one hold for five, four, three, two, one, and flat foot. Very good. Now, what we do one direction, we try to do the other, holding on to the back of the chair. It's real important for this one. We're going to bring our toes up off the ground, rocking back on our heels, toes up in the air. Doing that for 10. Lean back, one, rock back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Let's go ahead and come around the front of the chair. Again, knowing where those dumbbells are or the weights, whatever you use those weights. Checking your surroundings. Let's go ahead and have a seat at the edge of our chair. Don't get comfortable yet. We're almost done, but not quite. <laughs> the edge of your chair, we're gonna do three trunk turns, just as we did towards the beginning. Posture tall, core engaged, hands on the hips, twisting our upper body to the right, coming to center, and left. One, right, center, left, two, right, center, left. That's three. This time we're going to hold some of the moves that we've done before. Taking the chin over to the right shoulder. Go ahead and hold that for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Center, nice and level. Chin over to the left shoulder. And holding. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Center. Ear to shoulder. Now you can use your hand to assist a little bit if you prefer. You can just do right ear towards the right shoulder, or if you want to use your hand, you'll be using your right hand just above your left ear. And you're not really pushing, it's more so a pull that you'll be doing as your ear goes towards your right shoulder. And holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, go ahead and gently take your head up the center. Left ear towards the left shoulder. Again, you can just take the left ear to the left shoulder or you can assist with your hand. Again, it's a pulling, it's not a pushing. Go ahead and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and back up to center carefully. There we go. Shoulder rolls three forward, three back. Shrugging up, push front and down. This is our cool down. Doesn't have to be fast. Two, and three, back for three. Shrugging up, push back and down, one, uh, two, and three. Take deep breaths with me. We'll do three together. On the inhale, lifting our arms up. On the exhale, lowering our arms back down. Here we go. Breathing in and out. In and out. Last one. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you again 
guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the modified flex and stretch routine. Again, as we continue throughout the year, maybe we will add back in that scarf section. Works our core a little bit more. Um, so we'll just play around with it a little bit, but I appreciate you tuning in, trying your best today. As always, this video, as well as others, are archived on the Washington County Commission on Aging Incorporated Facebook and YouTube pages. So you can go back, you can do some Tai Chi classes, yoga, strength training, whatever it may be, you can go back and give that a try. So I encourage you to stay well and to stay active. Until next Thursday, take care.